Hello everyone movie recap here. Today we are going to recap Barely Lethal. While on a mission, Megan Walsh, an assassin, gets intrigued with the lives of the other teenagers who are her age. She decides to fake her own death and enroll herself in a school. Spoilers ahead. Practically from birth, the Prescott Academy girls are trained to be skilled assassins. No attachments is their top guideline. However, number 83 has always been curious in the world outside the academy. She had fantasized about leading a typical life despite doing outstanding work in the field. She and the other females have always been warned by her instructor Hartman not to get attached to anybody or anything. Because of her abilities, 83 and 84 are now rivals. The girls are given the task of catching wanted arms dealer Victoria Knox by Hartman. To capture her, the agents travel to Chechnya. 83 poses as one of those who have been apprehended and brought before Knox. She is able to secure Knox and herself to an approaching jet that also has Hardman on board. When they are sufficiently high and distanced, 83 commits himself by jumping into a river while the other agents capture Knox. They proclaim 83 missing after finding no trace of her. Kicking off her undercover escapade, 83 dives into the world of teenagers. She dives into popular magazines and tunes into iconic movies like Mean Girls and Bring It On. Armed with newfound knowledge, she adopts the persona of Megan Walsh and enrolls in high school, even participating in a family exchange with the Larsons. Liz, a bit distant, contrasts with Parker, who warms up to Megan instantly. For her grand entrance, Megan rocks a hilariously outrageous outfit, sparking a chorus of laughter. Liz, sensing the embarrassment, lends a helping hand, offering a change of clothes. Megan, though not without hiccups, jumps into the social scene, introducing herself with a comically mispronounced Canadian hometown, earning her a few raised eyebrows and laughs. But just as things look dicey, enter Cash, the school's golden boy, armed with a guitar and a heartwarming melody. His impromptu performance rescues Megan from the brink of embarrassment, silencing the taunts. But that's not all, for Cash and his band, Emoticon, unleashing their musical prowess, painting the space with beats and rhythm. It's a whirlwind of teenage drama, fitting in, and the power of music, all woven into Megan's journey of blending in with her new teenage identity. As Megan adjusts to life in high school, she befriends a geeky youngster named Roger who shows interest in her despite her desire to cash. When Megan learns that she shares a biology class with him, she manipulates the system to make him her lab partner, much to the chagrin of two nasty ladies. The girls persuade Megan that Cash appreciates girls who have school spirit and encourage her to apply to be the mascot of the school as payback. Megan wins the job after demonstrating her combat abilities during her interview. A few students from a rival school show up during a game and attempt to abduct Megan as part of an annual custom. She kicks them in the asses, and a video of this spreads online. She gains some notoriety, but Liz is also irritated by it. Hardman is keeping Knox captive at Prescott. Knox informs Hardman that Prescott Rex lives, and she's not only referring to the targets, as 84 walks in on them. To Roger's dismay, Megan spends more time with Cash. She is stopped by a Prescott analyst as she is making her way home and brought back to Hardman. He is prepared to have his henchman Pedro torture Megan on the grounds that she is collaborating with Prescott's adversaries. After giving her a truth serum, he discovers she is being sincere when she says she only wants to live a regular life away from the academy. Pedro shares Megan's compassion as she sobs. Hardman releases her but cautions her that they won't be there to save her if she gets into trouble. To give Megan the appearance that she is extremely inebriated, they throw her off the porch of the Larson residence. The school's class clown invites Megan to a large party at his house. Megan is urged to attend, and Mrs. Larson forces Liz to go with her. At the party, Megan sticks with Cash while Liz gets wasted with GOCH in his bathtub and discovers that he's not a complete jerk and that his true name is Bernard. Unexpectedly, 84, who is now going by Heather, is present. Although Megan believes Hardman sent Heather to follow her, she actually has other plans in the works. She pursues money in an effort to annoy Megan, which forces them into a game. Eventually, Megan captures Cash's interest and receives an invitation from him to the homecoming dance. Dawn reveals Mrs. Larson's discontent, thanks to an eyebrow-raising prank involving Liz and a painted face surprise. Soon, the plot twists. Set to embark on a usual school day, spots an unusual bus driver, it's Hardman with urgent news of Knox's escape. Liz takes the wheel next, but the twist continues, an assassin's mask emerges in the rearview mirror. Fear not, Megan steps up, saving the day and revealing her well-kept secret to Liz in a heart-pounding moment. 
A showdown unfolds, the chase ending in a junkyard collision. Megan's senses reveal the truth in the air, a familiar Kesha perfume scent fingers Heather as the culprit. Amid the aftermath, Liz lands in the hospital. Megan's choice crystallizes, she must leave to shield her kin from harm's way. But Liz's wisdom shines through, running from family won't erase the danger. An electrifying blend of danger, revelations, and the unbreakable bond of family shapes this thrilling chapter, where secrets surface and survival reign supreme. The homecoming dance buzzes with excitement as the girls gather. Megan's radar signals boredom with cash, leading her to cut ties. An effort to mend things with Roger Sowers as Heather emerges as his date, igniting a clash in the gym. The spark ignites a brawl among the cruel girls, fists flying in a chaotic showdown. Megan's escape route leads her and Heather into a showdown of their own, from gym to hallway, they end up in the kitchen. Heather's chilling confession chills the air, she's part of Knox's dark plot to end Megan. Revelations tumble forth, she boasts of entanglements with both Roger and Cash, stoking the flames. But Megan's not backing down. In a turn of fate, Liz takes charge, stabbing Heather's leg with a corn dog stick, leaving her incapacitated. Megan seizes the opportunity, landing a knockout blow. The kitchen showdown twists from aggression to victory, a display of strength and unity. As Megan steps into her home's threshold, an unwelcome sight unfolds. Parker and Mrs. Larson are hostages of Knox and his gang. Swiftly, Megan takes on the thugs, a clash of strength and wits. Amidst the tussle, Liz too is ensnared. Surprising revelations spill from Knox's lips, Liz was the Prescott girl who broke free and turned against them. But reinforcements roar to the rescue as Hardman charges in, tipping the scales. Thugs fall, Knox subdued. Bonds tighten as Megan and Hardman share a knowing embrace, unspoken words passing between them. A flicker of humor as action ebbs, Hardman tosses a nod to Parker, hinting at a new chapter. The Prescott Boys' School awaits. The final puzzle piece drops as Hardman's cheerful voice echoes, curious about his own involvement. The embrace of family and allies defines the victory, sealing the bonds forged in adversity. With hope in the air, laughter's notes intertwine, and a new chapter of camaraderie unfurls in the wake of the storm. We really hope you enjoyed today's recap of Barely Lethal. Please leave a comment below on what you loved about the movie and why. Be sure to like the video and please don't forget to support our channel by subscribing so you don't miss any amazing content. Until next time, lights, camera, action. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.